there everyone so I had promised a look at my traveler's notebook for the trip to Austria and I have got a really wonky setup here but it's more stable than the first um, video I tried to do so I'll give it a shot and now I'm going to give a quick overview and then I'm not going to talk anymore I'm just going to flip pages um, because I don't want to accidentally stop on any information that um, is a little bit more personal but I want to show you how all of the pages are laid out so first things first you'll note that I did not use up all of the pages it is a lightweight travelers com travelers notebook um, insert a lightweight paper and I did that on purpose because I do want to add a couple of additional trips in here and you'll notice that some of the pages are not complete that is also on purpose well not on purpose it's because I haven't gotten to it yet <laughs> there were some additional items that oops sorry there were some additional items that I wanted to add in that were kind of thought prompts that just haven't gotten finished yet what I did do was I covered the outside of the notebook with this scrapbooking paper that I got I believe at Michael's and then on the inside as well inside covers and I lined out the first page with this airmail tape and what I'm going to do is for each trip I'm going to do that on the next first page so that I can differentiate where each one is so without any further ado I'll just go through some pages for you you see I started out in kind of traditional journal fashion and then I realized I could be creative and put stuff in and I could do different lettering and yeah that was a real amazing thing so <laughs> I just kind of experimented with that I left blank spaces for additional for pictures originally but I'm not so sure anymore that I'm going to add in pictures this was kind of some sketching practice I'm really kind of proud of myself on that one and wrappers this did not turn out so good but it's all right and I started filling in some of the blank spots with stickers as well whatever I had on hand which happened to just be the Midori stickers that I got with the um, with what with the insert no I got it separately but you know what I mean just their own brand of stickers this I had in there as a writing guide it's from a different notebook but it had the right size squares right size lines this was from a train brochure and these are actually a couple of these no I think all of these I have not yet been to around the lake um, I've been to several places around the lake but not these so I wanted to keep that in mind for a future trip and a postcard of Bregan's back in the day and hopefully I'll be adding in stuff here some of my favorite snacks and there you have it that's the end of that now I do still have several um, as said several writing prompts which will take up a couple of more pages and I may or may not add in pictures from the trip as well I do want to show off a couple of them but I didn't really take many this time around um, as a you know if for any of you who saw my pictures from Cuba I took plenty then but this trip was so horribly cold that I just did not get out and I was not interested in being out in the cold for that <laughs> for taking pictures so next time I go back maybe in the summer that'll happen and in case anyone's interested I have on the front of my notebook here this is my St. Christopher and I have a little um, London double-decker bus over here on this side all right and there it was my travel journal and hopefully I will also be adding into that same journal a trip to Portland next month and a trip to Montreal in May. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching and talk to you later. Bye.